energy, sex, orgasm, and healing. Life is energy. Energy is existential. When it is part of the cosmos, it is known as cosmic energy. Take for example, electrical energy. It is generated at a particular place from where it is distributed for individual consumption. Coming from outside source, it is brought to your house and then flows throughout the entire house. So too, this cosmic energy comes in each one of us as bioenergy at birth. When this energy flows naturally and spontaneously, there is harmony, health and life is bliss. When the flow is broken, there is disharmony and this state at physical level is known as disease. Whole humankind is sick and suffers from this energy malfunctioning. Of this, one may be theoretically aware, but fails to correct this problem on one's own. Every individual suffers from unnaturality and unnormality. However, when this existential bioenergy passes through various channels, its form changes. Passing through various channels, it is also known by different names. In the process, not only name changes from existential bioenergy to sex, to love, to awareness, and to bliss, to truth, its form also changes from frozen to fluid to gaseous human body showcases the effect. For healing, we must begin at emotional level where this energy is frozen. From frozen, it needs to change to fluid form to finally attain the gaseous state before it flows into the cosmic layer. The question comes where and how does this energy flow within a human body and what causes its flow to get disturbed. This bioenergy is stored at one place. From there it flows through the entire body, energizing each organ. When energy does not flow naturally or its flow is obstructed at any particular place, this problem is known as disease. Let me start from the very beginning. At the moment a child takes birth, many stars emerge from around the Earth's horizon and each movement of the stars emits a specific vibration. This vibration creates energy. Also, each star has its own individual movement. All these vibrations together create a musical harmony. This Pythagoras calls as harmony of the universe. This cosmic harmony regulates the state of health, illness and well-being throughout the entire life. Harmony of the universe takes us on journey to the heart of nature where we find music, mathematical proportions and the fields that organize all living processes. Andrew Glazewski, a Poland's much-loved scientist, mystic and priest, explores the science behind healing, the field of crystals, plants and human beings. And also those fields determine our physical well-being. How can we use our hands to heal? By removing our self-imposed psychological blocks, we can become aware of our field 
and increase our sensitivity to spiritual worlds. Now the question comes, from where can healing really happen? Since physical body is a mere showcase, definitely it cannot be the beginning. Regular medicine begins here, but not meditation. Can you start at bioplasmic level or you can or you still have to go one step beyond? There are so many unresolved issues in each one of us that need to be addressed before healing can really begin. It also it was considered that disease happens at physical level and the healing has to take place at that level as well. It was 19th century German-born psychologist Sigmund Freud who gave a totally new vision. He broke all barriers between consciousness, subconsciousness and dreams for a different way of healing. He used to listen to the dreams of the patients to heal them. For this, he was mocked. Really, before the symptoms manifest at physical plane, there exists a cosmic there exists at cosmic level as virus. In man, at psychological and emotional level before manifesting at the physical level. Sigmund Freud broke the walls between conscious, subconscious and dream levels. In this process of disease, lack of understanding and the bioenergy as sex is the most important cause. If you look around, you will find in most of the cases, almost all diseases arise because of sexual unfulfillment. Once one is not satiated at sex level, many psychological, emotional and physical ailments arise and exist. There is a lack of harmony between body, mind and psychology. My effort through these overflows is to create inner balance between body and the mind. Only then life can be blissful. The moment energy begins to flow naturally and spontaneous, spontaneously a new life force enters you. This process will continue until new man, one who is beyond body, mind and intellect is born out of you. This is just the beginning. It is, this is an investigation first and then a process how healing can happen. It begins with a passage from Aurobindo Savitri, the fathomless zero occupied the cosmos and your world of finiteness. The fathomless zero occupied the cosmos and your world of finiteness. It is out of this fathomless zero first evolved ether or sky. Then came air followed by fire, the remaining elements, the water, the earth and thus life evolved. The soul, the mind and physical body your physical body is mere showcase of all that happens at other planes or bodies. It is important to understand this first. In the process of healing, I do not treat the disease as it manifests as physical level at symptoms. Instead, my effort is to treat the person. Even when responding to the questions from seekers, my focus 
remains on where the question is coming from from what which layer medicine considers disease in man separately my approach is different this is the approach that analyzes disease as a part first love gives you unity in your innermost core then you are no more a body no more a mind no more a soul you are simply one unnamed undefined unclassified no more determinate definable and no more comprehensible a mystery a joy a surprise a jubilation and a great celebration a being alone when you sit silently watching your breath you are connected to the unconscious layers through the mind you are connected to suppressed emotions both at the personal and social level that constantly impede your process of bliss also you are connected to the muscle and physical system of karma then you can clear out every knot thus clearing the body of all its existing karmas then the question comes from where can healing really happens since physical body is mere showcase definitely it cannot be the beginning regular medicine begins here but not meditation can you start at bioplasmic level or you still have to go a step forward these are so many unresolved there are so many unresolved issues in each one of us that needs to be addressed before the healing can begin this is an investigation how healing can happen all these and other such issues are stored in the fathomless zero that occupied the world the journey of healing begins from this point you are born from the very beginning with an infinite energy and possibility of buddhahood this needs to be explored enough for now